Hi, welcome to another part of the WinUAE installation guide created through Lemon Amiga. In this part, we will be taking a look at how to grab screenshots from your various games and how to edit those and potentially how to install those into a competition, perhaps on the Lemon Amiga competition section. So for this, I will uh, choose a random game. This is Nicky Boom, released in 1992 on the Microids label. And it's a very playable game, as you can see. So I'm just going to continue this as though I would have got a high score. And I'm going to fast forward to the end of the game when I did get a high score. And in this demo session, I managed to get 63,100. So all you have to do is to press F12 to return to the options in WinUAE. Find the output tab there and click on save screenshot. You will not gain a requester to confirm the action. But if you return to the screenshots directory, which is set up in the paths through WinUAE, wherever that may be. In this case, I've just called it screenshots in the WinUAE directory there it is the output is that screenshot and each screenshot will be labeled sequentially in this case it's 003 and if i right click on that screenshot through the image viewer and click on open with paint i can then open that with the windows paint package click on select and that will drag a box around the area we want to choose and I'm going to choose a nice tight selection box click on crop and that will cut that selection box out and then just click on resize pixels and for the Lemon Amiga forum and for most forums 450 pixels wide is the recommended width for those screenshots so now that I'm happy with that I just have to save as and i'm just going to give that a quick label and checking back on that this is our new screenshot our crop screenshot 450 pixels wide and if i just go down to properties there and click on details i can check that 450 wide by 404 long and that should definitely fit on most forums as it is so let's check out another game this is formula one grand prix uh, requires no introduction really Jeff Crammon's classic with Pete Cook and all the rest of the the, uh, the guys and here we go this is another lap completed this is Hungary and unfortunately I only gained a 1 minute 14.8 but if I press F12 again click on output click on screenshot save screenshot there that will save another screenshot in this case it's 004 because they are sequential remember if I click on that and in the picture viewer open with paint or whichever paint package you have uh, in the bottom right hand corner I can resize that image so I will do so click on select drag that selection box across the whole thing again and to basically crop out that black area and when we are happy with that click on crop and there is a black border there so I'm just going to use the zoom option to zoom in a little bit select the select option again drag the box over and then click on crop and that will get rid of that black border and now that I'm happy with that screenshot all I need to do is click on resize pixels again 450 anything up to 500 pixels is good to post on a forum anything bigger than that and it might break the forum boundaries so let's just check that image the picture viewer has updated itself with our cropped copy but double clicking on that just to make sure let's just have a look at the properties and the details that image is now down to 450 wide times 283 depth so what happens if you take a photograph? Well, that's a photograph taken of exactly the same score on Formula One Grand Prix. This is my digital camera inserted into my machine. And all I need to do is drag that picture 
that JPEG across from the digital camera, click on that and return to our screenshots. I've just copied that into the screenshots directory. Click on that and that is the raw image. As you can see uh, by zooming in there, the image is clear enough to make out the time, which is the important part. And let's edit that again through paint. Click on select, drag the box across. And then when we are happy with that, click on crop and then click on resize there. You know the format by now, 450 pixels. So let's just zoom in on that image just to make sure that that's cropped nice and tightly. You can alter the brightness and the contrast and those features through Windows Paint. But if you have Paint Shop Pro or Photoshop, you can edit those in that. Click on the disk icon there in the top left hand corner and that will save our image and that's the saved image that's the cropped image that we have it's the right size so all we have to do now is to figure out a way to get those pictures from our hard drive onto the internet if you have access to an FTP site you can simply uh, drag those pictures over to the FTP site I'm using PowerDesk and this program will load up my FTP and as you can see all my screenshots are already in there all I have to do is click on the one that I want and drag it in there or I can hold down control select a number and drag those in there and now they are on the FTP site they are available to link into a forum so this is the Lemon Amiga site as a sample forum and I'll click on competitions and a random uh, link there and I'm going to click on post reply and all we have to do now is type in the exact address of that FTP site in my case it's lifeschool.markanddesign.com uh, it's certainly not my FTP but that's the location for it and then all we have to do is click on the file name hold down control and press C when the rename box is highlighted and then highlight that box hold down control and press V and that will post the correct file name onto that correct um, FTP address there and I'm going to copy control C and control V the other image as well and you might notice image tags are around that address as well that just uh, make sure that the forum knows that it is an image and it tries to load it up as an image rather than a, a text link and as you can see both of our cropped screenshots are in there the Nicky Boom and the photo from F1GP and if you are posting a screenshot in any of these competitions it might be worth typing in the score underneath as well it usually is a prerequisite and in this case it's a 114.894 and I'm just going to bold that by clicking on the bold and if I click on preview that's what it looks like that's the first screenshot and the second one has the score underneath it all I need to do now is to select the appropriate screenshot for whichever competition I'm posting for click on submit and that will post our screenshot to the forums but what if you haven't got an FTP site? Well, if you're not that lucky, and let's face it, most people aren't, this is Photo Book It. All you need to do is register to Photo Book It for free. And when you gain access to that account, you click on Upload Files, find the directory which we need. In this case, it's our screenshots directory in the Amiga section. Hold down Control, click on both of those pictures that we want to upload, and they will upload those pictures onto the internet and click on upload there and I have a fast connection but these pictures are very small anyway so it won't take that long to drag those over there if you uh, click on share with friends once those images are up there click on the image you want to post on whichever forum you like and then ignore email you must click on links and you might notice the second one down is actually a direct link directly to that image 
so all we need to do is click on that direct link and it will go yellow and they were copied up here and then I can get rid of that text box return to a post and if I hold down the right mouse button click paste that will paste that link into that box uh, that direct link and if I press control V there that's the paste option and I'm going to wrap that address into image tags by highlighting that and click on image and then when I click on preview that will appear again and once again we'll, we'll insert that score 1 minute 14.894 click on B to bold that and under the preview will reveal our photographed screenshot in this case and the score so while we're here we'll just return to the photo bucket select our other image if we are posting more than one image uh, in the forum click on that click on the direct link return to the forum and either click on paste or press ctrl and v and that will appear put that link into the image tags and then we're going to write the score underneath that as well if i click on preview if we forget our score we can click on preview and that will show it in this case it's nicky boom and you might notice that screenshot is rather on the long side uh, compared to the other one but width wise it's exactly the same 450 so let's enter that score from nicky boom just to make that a legitimate competition entry and bold that and preview so this is what that second screenshot would look like this is the screen grab cropped remember and that's the score all we need to do now is click on submit and our selection of screenshots will then appear on those pages so thank you for viewing this part see you again